in the romantic and interpersonal journey. Frequently, we think that the secret to our contentment resides in the acknowledgement and love from other people, but picture a life where your happiness is independent of whims and another person's affections, where your emotional health is not predetermined by quick looks, unread texts, or hazy. This situation with communications is not a, a far-off dream turned into a workable reality available to you immediately at this moment. Knowledge derived from the timeless precepts of the ancient philosophy of Stoicism shows resiliency and inner tranquility. We discover the key to achieving pleasure apart from our external conditions, but how does this relate to it? To want to be missed by someone in. In the video today, we'll go into the significant realizations from Stoic philosophy and how it can transform both of our personal development and our interpersonal partnerships in the deepest senses. Come along as we explore the craft of crafting a long-lasting effect without manipulation or careful preparation, but by living up to a spirit of independence and internal peace, by committing ourselves to personal growth, encouraging emotional independence and acknowledging the present without reliance, we inherently increase in attraction and incongruously unforgettable remember to like. Join us and stay tuned for the, the entire video. Each segment is painstakingly intending to guide you toward a more stoic and rich existence. So let's firstly, letting go of the need to first number control the Stoics possess this perceptive notion that most of our stress annoyance and even profound dejection arrive from attempting to regulate things that's simply uncontrollable. We all engage in it, putting in a lot of effort to try and shape circumstances, outcomes, and even other individuals solely to fulfill our desires in accordance with considering how much of it is beyond our control may initially sound a little depressing. However, actually, it's intended to set us free intended to free us from those self-made bonds that bind us. Unthinkable expectations require accepting stoic knowledge. For instance, it's not just about relaxing and simply allowing life to happen to us, about focusing on what we can actually impact our internal. Here is where we truly have it, ourselves. Power, our mindsets, our decisions, our replies, Here's where we can truly identify the space. By concentrating here, we can increase our tolerance, comprehension, and resilience is the key to achieving true peace. Think about the concept of letting go of stoicism in control teaches us to accept. The organic cycle of life aids us in distinguish our behavior from theirs. Outcomes we can fully commit to our efforts, undoubtedly, but the results, frequently, we can't control them, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that our efforts are in vain, just indicates that we see them from a healthier, more grounded viewpoint by lining up our deeds with our principles and allowing let go of certain outcomes, we live longer. Moreover, completely and truly stoic lessons push us to consider every as an opportunity to develop and to verify our theories regarding what controls security and prosperity actually imply that we frequently discover that our true strength doesn't result from having complete control. Outside us, but by becoming adept at our inner scenery. In daily life, this entails evolving into more flexible and receptive to the unexpected, which entails accepting life's surprises with a heart and a peaceful mind, ready to absorb knowledge from whatever that comes, how to go about managing life's difficulties with grace and recognizing them as opportunities to develop and comprehend oneself as we incorporate this stoic concept into our everyday activities. We observe more profound links in our connections, served as a stress reliever and an increased gratitude for the here and we are beginning to realize that control isn't. Instead, the key to happiness is about striking a balance between acceptance and inward. 
calmly relinquishing our need for giving up control, isn't about regaining control in the most efficient manner conceivable. It's about setting out on a quest for inner freedom that modifies our perceptions of engage with the outside world, bringing us to a life defined not by outside approval. However, with resilience and inner peace, deep awareness of goal number two, personal development over second number. Outside validation. Have you ever caught yourself? Feeling dependent on other people's approval, perhaps you've realized how much worth you are. You long for social media likes or feel depressed when you don't receive the response you desired by family or friends. It's a typical mistake people go into when looking for happiness outside sources, particularly when it reaches relationships, but this one is distinct. What if your true happiness arrives? From the deep depths, an old philosophy just tells us that everything is. Concerning concentrating on what we can manage, such as our ideas, deeds, and giving up on things we can't control, like how others act or feel this way about us, does not imply that we give up on caring about constructing resiliency and discovering satisfaction inside, not outside of the endorsement of another person. Consider the moments when you've waited tensely for someone to express their desire or to miss you. It's as like you're giving them the you have remote control over your emotions, correct? You ultimately respond to their actions, which can throw you into a genuine emotional swift stoicism grasps that distant returning to you. It gives us tools to develop virtues such as wisdom, bravery, justice, and moderation. Cultivating these qualities helps us develop a robust, resilient character who doesn't find happiness in other people affirmation, but within our own individual expansion and accomplishments that this stoic attitude doesn't imply that we ought to distance ourselves from others or conversely, give up caring. Stoicism encourages developing strong, significant relationships founded on mutual comprehension and regard instead rather than on reliance or necessity. And this interesting paradox by emphasizing our individual development and aiming to be our being ourselves, we inevitably grow more captivating and enticing to other people. People are drawn to those who naturally, they are self-assured and enthusiastic about their goals and at ease in their own. The less we pursue someone's skin, the greater the likelihood that they will observe us as we live out our most genuine lives. So what if we begin focusing our energies elsewhere of looking for approval? Let's pour our hearts into nourishing our inside environment. Let's dedicate time to acquiring new abilities, acquiring new interests, and genuinely delving deeply into our individual values and what motivates us to complete. This trip of self-awareness and progress aren't just fulfilling on its own. It also makes we are much more admirable, yes, even missable. Keep in mind that stoicism isn't about ignoring our needs or repressing our connections are necessary. This is a reminder that our worth and pleasure don't rely on them. By establishing a foundation in stoic ideals, we can accomplish a calm, fulfilling, and sincere, let's embrace our individual lives. Stoic approach of improving ourselves and discover our happiness within it. My friendships are the source of true happiness. Thumber three, discovered independence and number three. Sentimental Stoicism's central value of resilience, a strong realization that we can't always control everything that occurs to us we truly may decide how we will react to this events. This concept is more than just freeing. It gives us access to our mental. The goal of freedom stoicism is not to close denying your emotions or acting as though the you're not affected by the world. Rather, it's all about being aware of your feelings, knowing them well, and then deciding not to answer these emotions. The Stoics shots showed a rather clear mantra Pay attention to what you can manage and give up the things you can't. They're not just about discovering inner serenity. 
It's a, a useful manual for maintaining emotional powerful. Now, consider how this plays out. In daily life, let's assume someone cuts, your friend cancels, or you get stuck in traffic last-minute arrangements, rather than letting disappointment or annoyance damage your day-to-day -day stoicism, teaches us to dismiss it, and concentrate on how we respond rather than the incident. This kind of thinking instills a sense of self-reliance that is both enabling and extremely practical, and no being independent does not imply that you will alone. It truly facilitates communication with some who are more locally real of fortitude and confidence, require relationships, like stoicism, for example, lets us comprehend that even though it's wonderful to love and care for others in our happiness, shouldn't depend on others for oneself. Only based on the deeds of others or acceptance, this viewpoint gives us hope. To establish connections based on mutual genuine esteem and a genuine bond remain intact. Of a fear of being dependent or alone, dependence by strengthening our emotional resilience, that we can experience more deeply deep connections without abandoning plus stoicism in them. Our own identity focuses a lot on living in harmony with nature, embracing the inevitable ups and downs of life. It significantly supports our emotions. Resilience serves as a reminder that change is continuous. Thus, adjusting to it is a real test for our. So how can we achieve resilience? Begins with self-awareness, routinely assessing with your own ideas and feelings, particularly when you encounter difficulties. Essential expressing thankfulness and remaining in the being mindful of the present and coordinating your everyday engagement with your basic beliefs is important. Major role as well, and most crucially, we must challenge our assumptions by if our responses are indeed appropriate for whether they're based on old or the circumstances, behaviors or ideas that support stoicism isn't about getting by with ease life without ever need the help of others instead, it's about claiming your identity. A lighthouse that guides during storms yourself with values that have endured over time, this journey in the direction of individual autonomy and emotional resilience is more than simply a lone song. It's enriched by the knowledge of individuals who have previously traversed this path, and as when we employ these stoic ideas, we'll discover that our ability to be joyful, resilience to hardship, and our talent for keeping relationships in balance for everyone flourish beyond our wildest expectations. Let us avoid navigating life storms by looking for refuge but demonstrating strength collectively. Number four, creating a for significant life opens up to the profound lessons from Stoic philosophers such as Cena, Aurelius Marcus and Epicus, which these scholars truly highlight the significance of living in harmony with our own selves and the larger. At its core, the universe's rhythm philosophy helps us to make judgments what's actually significant and to fully dedicate ourselves to these Stoic principles the essential nature of life isn't discovered by pursuing outside achievement in gaining money or gaining recognition rather than becoming rooted in fostering our moral character, discernment and honesty is about proactively promoting the common good through involvement in our neighborhoods and constructing partnerships based on mutual respect and realizing how to live a meaningful life then entails delving deeply into our inner selves, which entails asking challenging inquiries regarding our identity and what really matters to us forces us to uphold these principles, particularly when in the face of difficulties or when it might feel tempted to simply follow societal norms, anticipation stoicism functions as a compass on this excursion of reflection directing us to closely examine not only what we do, but also why we do it. We're acting behind them because we genuinely morality, or are we only looking for outside affirmation? 
in addition to Stoicism, teaches us about the fleeting nature of, of outside circumstances and emphasizes the, the value of concentrating on what we can control. This mentality is really, release it frees us from the pointless attempt to attempt to manage the unpredictable and directs our energy toward places where we are truly able to an effect on our beliefs, decisions and response reactions to the external environment so that we might live a meaningful life is less about what we've accomplished and more regarding our way of life and our mentality adopt a stoic attitude on a daily basis entails acknowledging that pain and failures are a normal part of life rather than considering these as obstacles to we can see them as happy chances for development resilience and a better comprehension of life's complexity this does not imply that we chase after misery. Instead, find purpose in conquering it, taking what you've learned and continuing with increased resilience and a better living with a compassionate heart in practice meaningfully incorporates both minor everyday larger gestures and activities that are observed in the Kinniswood. It can also be discovered in such peaceful times. When we consider how we fit into the, the cosmos recognizes the splendor of nature, practice, self-care, and cultivate our connections, these behaviors sprang from stoic ideas, weave a beautiful tapestry of a life well lived. Let us not overlook the stoic journey in life. Toward a purposeful life isn't intended to, we traverse this route together, alone, collectively assisting one another with exchange knowledge and experience encounters by securing our existence in Stoicism, we not only get ready to meet the obstacles of life, but also grow amidst them, discovering joy and a purpose. Significance at every turn, as we come to an end of our trip through final verdict, the lessons from Stoicism, it is clear that this eternal philosophy provides us with far more than simply rules, it provides a way of life immersed in, in discernment, tenacity and peace. Stoicism pushes us to focus on what's actually crucial in supporting us, handle the highs and lows of life with grace and serenity, the tactics and techniques. We haven't just discussed theoretical concepts. Concepts, they are practical instruments that be included into our daily activities, transforming obstacles into opportunities for personal development and more. We gain insight by accepting Stoicism, not merely to let go of what we, not only to submerge, but also to control fully to enjoy the moment as it is, the simple pleasures in life, and to foster significant relationships, this method aids us in create a peaceful haven inside ourselves that remains steady despite the upheaval that envelops us. After the stoic journey does not imply a life without challenges, rather than providing tranquility to acknowledge what we are powerless to alter and the courage to alter what we can, all the while upholding our moral principles. Stoicism tells us that despite the fact that we cannot control everything that occurs around us, possess authority over our perceptions of things, decisions, and respond as we fold stoically concepts into our daily lives, we start to observe changes in our definition of happy achievement and contentment that we discover. Genuine contentment does not originate from external acclaim or monetary possessions. Nevertheless, from living in harmony with our inner selves, convictions and principles, this insight is the key to a genuinely happy and happy life. I appreciate you being here with me. This insightful voyage where timeless wisdom influences our daily lives life. Let's continue learning and developing in tandem for further insights. I advise you to view one of the videos suggested on the screen up until we reconnect. Keep in mind that the most significant travel is the one that looks inside of us.